guys, uh, this is the first video of 2022, so I want to wish you a happy new year to you guys. Uh, I am the uh, Spanglish Anchor. Uh, this year I just uh, trying to change the name of uh, the channel, trying to grow it and see uh, what we can achieve with this channel. My goal is basically to bring some information to you guys and some entertainment and uh, hopefully uh, some information about my skiff, the area that I fish here in Florida, the Tampa Bay area and hopefully I can uh, get with some of you guys out there one of these days and uh, hit the water together. So, but yeah, today we are here so we can go over uh, my option right now that I'm doing. I'm doing the trailer, but uh, with my skiff. Uh, but they're also asked questions. They always ask me, can I transport this skiff on a uh, on the truck? Definitely, you can. Uh, that's how I transport it when I purchased it for the first time from Miami, from Nirvana Water Sports down in South Florida. Uh, when I purchased the kayak uh, or the skiff. I didn't have the trailer uh, then I was able to get myself on a on a good deal on the trailer I purchased the trailer uh, and then I say if I don't like it then of course I can just uh, sell it um, so the options that I have uh, at the time was my tra uh, my truck bed and it works fine uh, but then when I put my trailer on I, I am loving it again that's my style that's what I preferred but today we're just gonna go in details about the benefits and the cons uh, of the trailer and the benefits and the cons of transporting on your truck bed. I'm gonna start with the trailer. Uh, so this trailer for me, uh, the pros of it is uh, the easy, is super easy to go fishing now before I have to load it by hand, uh, have to manhandle it, load it a couple times, load it here, unload it there, load it there, back and forth. Now, if I wanna go fishing, basically, I just have everything set up on the trailer. I just open my garage, pull it out, drag it out, put it on the back of my truck, and I'm ready to go in five minutes. I love that. But again, I was lucky enough to find this used trailer for a very good price, um, and it needed some repairs but um again when i found it i found this tra uh, trailer for 140 dollars yes you can find uh trailers uh you right now very pricey i see them for 300 400 500 dollars and even more but something like this as soon as i saw the guy i think he had it like for 140 dollars um i added uh this uh wheel on the front uh i also added new lights on the back uh but overall i think i am in on this trailer for like 250 dollars um and that 250 dollars for me is a bargain uh because again i'm avo avoiding hurting my back avoiding having to load and unload uh so yeah for me 250 300 dollars is worth it uh, but now we're gonna talk about the cons, the inconvenient part of having a trailer and owning a trailer. So for me, the number one inconvenience that you have on a trailer, it will be maintenance. It will be something else that can go wrong while you wanna go fishing or something else that you have to worry about fixing, uh, be worried about maintenance. For example, you have tires, you have bearings that you have to keep grease and lube um, so that's something else that can make go wrong uh, another thing is a light uh, you also gonna have to be worried about every time you go out make sure that if you come at night that you have lights and the lights are working um, another con it will be registration you have to spend some money here in florida and i bet you in all the states if you have a trailer on the road you have to have it registered so um overall too you have to watch where you're gonna park it uh where you're gonna keep it in storage uh myself i live on a de-restricted area so i can have nothing outside my house so usually what i do is i just open my garage and it fits perfect inside there i have about a foot of spare or so but some people don't even have where to find uh, a parking or a place where they can keep their uh, kayak and the trailer uh, in my situation, again, the $300 a year that I would say that it's gonna cost me to maintain this, I, I know it's gonna be less than that because I don't have to repair the trailer every every year. But let's say tires and bearings, uh, registration is already registered for one extra year. So uh, I think I'm gonna spend about $100, maybe extra $150 every year. For me, that's worth it. Um, 
but yeah uh, again the pros oh my god it's just so easy it's so easy on your back especially somebody like me who have back problems i don't have to be lifting uh, all i have to do is just go to the ramp or just go to uh, the sand whatever i want to uh, unload back it up uh, basically take the lock out unscrew it push it back huh? and she's floating when i come back all i have to do is just pick up my truck back it up to the bank or whatever i am fishing from and load it up uh, i can be in and out of the water in 10 15 minutes uh, all i do is just uh, after i hook it on the front i put a side strap i make sure that everything is locked that my seat is locked in this position right here and i'm ready to roll nothing here will fly out nothing here is gonna be taken out my fifth chimpo stay there i don't have to be transporting it inside my truck or nothing like that as soon as i come back here home i just park right there in the back i bring my hose i wash it off and then after everything is washed and clean i literally just put it inside my garage lock the door and i am ready for sleep or whatever else i'm gonna be doing that day so um but yeah, uh, very simple. Like I say, I think the pros uh, for me, in my particular case, the trailer is the way to go, even though that you have to worry about bearings, even though that you have to worry about tires, about registration, about lights, and about storage. In my personal case, the pros are always better than the cons when it comes about a trailer. But now we're gonna try to do it on the back of the truck, even though that I'm not gonna do that, hopefully for a while, I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to do it on the back of the truck, stay tuned. So yeah, now we're gonna go with the pros and the cons of using a truck bed uh, or an extender uh, truck bed. Uh, even though that uh, the different importers of this uh, particular skiff, they have uh, different information. Uh, they are basically saying they're 13 feet long and we know that is true it's about 13.1 inches so we are all set there other than I know one company says it's about 125 pounds the other one's mentioned it's at 108 the other one is says it's about 110 uh, let's call it a 115 or so plus whatever gear you're gonna put on it uh, the width is 39 inches so we know we're straight with that but again the length is what we are more interested on right now the length is 13 feet long 13 foot uh, my truck again is a Nissan Frontier uh, just the bed alone is uh, five foot to the back and then the tailgate when it's open adds another almost two feet so you're up to seven feet right here uh, when you put the uh, truck bed extender like the one I have it's gonna give you about nine and a half uh, yeah nine and a half feet of uh, support for the skiff or the kayak this extender I bought it I guess was uh, 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 out of uh, Facebook market but these are the ones that you can buy at uh, Harbor Freight uh, they're 52 and three quarter long uh, I guess they have different lengths on them but right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, get my skiff back here and load it up so you can see how it looks uh, but again having about nine and a half feet of the 13 feet uh, I think that's uh, under support that's very neat they're very nice you're only gonna have about three feet three and a half feet just hanging outside it's not bad it's not bad um, but again the, the pros of it is that all you need is a bed extender and this I guess you can find it for like hundred dollars or so uh, and again you don't need no trailers no maintenance other than the one on your truck the one registration only your tires on your truck so it's not like a, having a trailer where you have something else to worry about the pros on this is that you can use your own vehicle just to transport it and it's very nice and easy so uh, let me back up the skiff and see if we can load it up Winkler in bees. You can do it.
So, okay guys, now I have uh, the skiff all the way to the back of the bed truck, uh, right here, it's hidden in the back. You can put something here so it doesn't scratch, but you see the good part of the skiff is because the motor's over there. Um, you can just tilt it up and you have plenty of space here, so it's not gonna have, you don't have to remove the, the motor uh, unless you have to because the weight of it and you cannot do it by yourself. But if you have two people with you, man, you guys can take this in and out of the truck with ease and make sure that you tilt it. That way um, it's not hitting the bottom. And again, you have plenty of space here. You have about 10 inches right here of spare where it's not gonna hit nothing. This is with my six horsepower high idea. But again, this uh, skiff is rated for six all the way to two and a half. And to be honest with you, even with trolley motors, so yeah guys, also before I finish, I want to bring this up. Uh, I know on one of these uh, videos, I think somebody commented that I have everything, all, that, that I like my tools and everything on one side. Uh, he noticed it, that I have everything on one side. Uh, if you're new at kayak and you're trying to rig your kayak, uh, you want to put so many things sometimes, next thing you know, you don't have asses so what i'm trying to do is i put everything on my right side over here um i got my garmin i got my gopros i got my tools i got my jar stick i got everything here the only thing i have over there is the handle and the paddle why because if i land the fish on this side uh i got a lot of things that i have to be concerned with getting tangled around but uh you can handle the fish to go on the other side that way you have all this area open no snacks not cutting the line because something was in the middle pliers or whatever so that's the reason that i have everything on one side and not on both sides and about the trailer repair uh, what i did is i posted on facebook market um, i posted that i was looking for somebody who can uh, do a mobile work uh, that can come to my house so i can drop it off and take care of some corners that was needing some repairs uh, within an hour or so Andrew with 71 welding he just contacted me he's a young fella here in Tampa Bay area he's starting his own business um, so he gave me a very good price he told me he can finish the same day I told him I want to go fishing the next morning and there he was until like 11 o'clock at night working on the trailer and getting it ready so he uh, delivered on time and with a good price so Andrew thanks for your time and your effort and good luck with your new company so guys, uh, thanks for watching. If you like my content, you can find me on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. So please, if you like my uh, content, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button. So thanks for watching, tie lines, and have fun.